In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you all the commands that relate to constructive solid geometry, also known as CSG. You've seen some of this already in the union statement. And just to reiterate that, let me uncomment this union statement here, draw the picture and show you what it is. There you go, we've got a union statement here where I've joined together two sphere objects and they're sharing a single texture. So that same texture, that blue colour, is applied to both the objects in the union statement. This sharing of a texture applies to all of the CSG commands. Let's move on to the next command, one you haven't seen yet. Again, I'll just uncomment what I've already typed. This is the difference command and is, in fact, the opposite of the union statement. Let me run it and show you what it does. Now, what you can see to the left of the previous two balls is a scooped out ball where part of it has disappeared. In the statement, you can see I've actually got two spheres, just like we had in the union statement. But what we've got here is a different way of interpreting those objects. In a different statement, the first object, in this case a sphere, is the main core object. All the subsequent objects in the different statement are subtracted from it. So in this case, I've used one sphere to scoop out the side of another sphere. You could, do, you could make a pipe with two cylinders if the second cylinder passes through the first outer cylinder, and that would create a tube. You can use it to shear corners off of things if you use two boxes instead of two spheres. And you can have any number of subsequent objects in the difference. So here I've simply got one sphere subtracting from the first sphere, but I could have a third sphere, a fourth sphere, a box. I could have a, well, any object basically could go in there. Let's move on to the next one. Now here you can see immediately that it is at the moment a union, but I'm only using a union so I can show you the difference between that and the new command, which will be merge. So let me just draw this. Okay, so over on the right here, you can see that we've, excuse me, didn't mean to do that. You can see that we've got two spheres, but they're transparent. They are union together, just as they were before. And you can see here, rather than having a standard pigment, such as blue, green, yellow, white, etc., I've used the RGBF command. Basically, rather than specifying a whole colour, I'm specifying all the individual parts of a colour which on computer screens is generally made up of red, green and blue. So here I'm saying no red, no green, one blue, and here this fourth number is the amount of transparency that I want to give this colour, this texture. And as you can see, these balls are transparent at the moment. If I change that number from 0.8 to another extreme, let's make it to 0.1, and now you can barely see anything through them. But let me just change it back to 0.8, because there's a bit more I need to show you. Now this is a union statement, and you can see here where these two spheres intersect, you can see the outline of, each, of the other sphere within each sphere. Okay, that's because they're unioned. But if you're trying to create a single solid object, perhaps you wanted these two spheres to be together, but you want them to be hollow as such, so you could see the inside you have to use a different command, which I already mentioned here, merge. So if I run the image again, right, and if you look over here again, you can no longer see where the spheres intersect. Basically, what it's done is taken the first sphere, added the second sphere, as it would do with a union statement, but then it's almost effectively scooped out the inside, so there is no intersection area. I should also point out here that at the top, this is a comment statement. You've saw, seen me use before the slash asterisk comment, which is used for commenting out a whole block of code. Well, here you can just do a single line by using two slashes. Much like union and difference, you could have any number of objects in this merge statement. OK, let's move on to the final one. This is intersection. Again, I've got two spheres, 
But what this is going to do is rather than draw these two spheres or difference the second sphere from the first, what it's actually going to do is only draw the object where those, no, where those two objects, these two spheres, intersect each other. So you can see up here I've got a lens shape object because this dark side here, oh, didn't mean to do that again, is made from the right hand sphere and this part is made from the left hand sphere. And where those two spheres intersect each other, that's what we've created with our object. So there you go. Using this CSG, this constructive solid geometry, you can build up any kind of shape. And I'll show you more detail on how to do that in future lessons. That's all for now.